forget to subscribe and share. Hi, today we are going to make a beautiful light decoration using Neo Pixels. It's easy to create a decoration like this. I only used 250 LED strips and an Arduino Uno. Only needed 90 LEDs. Let's check the circuit diagram first. I had to cut these strips into smaller pieces with 9 LEDs. It's important to remember the side as each strip's output should go into the input side of the next strip. We need to connect all positive and negative wires together and supply 5 volts to them. Data in wire of the first LED strip should be connected to the pin 2 of the Arduino as shown. Just one wire needed to control all these 90 LEDs individually. That's why they are called addressable LEDs. I 3D printed the fixture because I didn't have cardboard or wood circle. Check out my previous video on Tinkercad if you're interested in 3D printing and 3D designing. I printed 12 of these interconnectable parts. We can fix 9 LEDs to each one. I'll only use 10 with lights. It's easy to snap them together and make a circle. Then fix LED strips like this. It should look like this after everything is fixed properly. I had to get support to complete this. The hard part is over. Let's see how we can program this now. You should watch my previous videos on programming Arduino using Pictodox if this is new to you. After connecting the Arduino, you need to add the lighting extension. Then we initialize the LED strip by letting the code know how many lights we have and the pin it is connected to. We can create cool light effects just by using the built-in patterns provided by Pictoblox. These are some of those. All we have to do is arrange them in an order we want to get the design we desire. Let's have some fun by creating our own patterns. You're going to need your previous programming knowledge to do this. If you don't know programming, have a look at my programming tutorial series. 
We need to create two variables to tell the program how many LEDs we have in each row and the total rows we have. Then we need two more variables to keep a track of the current LED and the current row we are at. Then we can use repeat blocks and loop through each of those LEDs and control them. Since we know the number of LEDs per row, we can calculate the position of an LED in any row like this. Turning off a LED means simply changing its color to black. I'm turning off the LED which I turned on on the previous iteration. You can choose not to if you like that pattern. It's unclear because the lights are a bit fast. We can create a whole new pattern just by moving the weight block to the other repeat block. It's easy to create unique patterns by doing simple changes to the code. If you are an Arduino IDE user, then the fast LED library will give you more options. It has more beautiful patterns like these.
This is the final decoration I made using multiple patterns created using fast LED. Like and share if you think it's beautiful. It's time for you to start creating your own. Bye bye! Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon. It will help me continue creating videos like this in the future.